Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Okay, today I'm continuing my Thanksgiving uh, items here. And today I'm doing two killings, like they say, two birds with one stone. I'm doing two two recipes in one video. As you can see by the preview uh, screen, I'm doing old school sweet potato pie, old school uh, candy yam. I got them good, nice Texas size yams here, so these are gonna take about an hour and a half to cook, maybe a little longer. These are Texas size, so I'm gonna get a big old pan of sweet potatoes out of this and a nice sweet potato pie out of this. So, first thing I'm gonna do, like I always been stressing, I hope people have learned by watching my channel, always, always, always bake your sweet potatoes. Do not boil them, do not cut them up, put them in the water, because you do two things. If you bake them, you preserve the natural nutrients, natural sweetness, and the beautiful red orange color that comes in that. If you boil them, you lose all that in the water. That's why I always, always bake my sweet potato. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these in the, and bake them all, and we'll be back in about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, get them all baked off and peel and we're gonna start our next step. We're gonna make our sweet potato pie and our glazed candy, well you can't sweet potatoes, candy yams, uh, however you wanna say it, glazed candy yams, candy sweet potatoes. Everybody say it different, so it's the same thing. Sweet potato, glazed sweet potatoes. So anyway, we'll be back in about an hour. We're gonna bake these off and we'll uh, do the next process. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. My sweet potatoes just got out of the oven. They are too even too hot to handle. I like that game we used to play hot potato, hot potato. That's why right here, that's what we got here. They're nice and tender. I'm gonna let them cool just slightly here where I can handle them. I'm gonna peel them. And I'm gonna show you how beautiful they are in the skin and the and the and the uh, advantages of cooking them in the skin. And then we're gonna make two items here. Like I said, I'm gonna do my glazed sweet potatoes. And we're gonna do sweet potato pie. I'm gonna do the sweet potato pie first, get it in the oven. Then I'm gonna come back, we're gonna make the glaze with the sweet potato. I'm gonna slice these, put them in the pan. Very simple, very easy recipe. So I'm gonna let these cool. When I come back, I'll have these all peeled up. And we'll go to the next, uh, the next step. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Okay, we're gonna do the sweet potato pie first. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm gonna make the sweet potato pie first. See how pretty these potatoes are when you cook them in the skin? That's why I bake my potatoes. You have to see that nice bright orange color? All the sugar is still in them and the nutrients are still in them. So I'm gonna make my pie, I'm gonna make two recipes with it. I'm gonna use the smaller ones to make my pie with. Put that in there. I'll just use a couple of them. That's all it's gonna take is these the big ones here. And I'll use the other ones to make my uh, casserole. So move this up out the way. It's going here. And like I say, sweet potato pie, y'all. Y'all already know, it's so simple and easy. Y'all see me make this so many times. Nothing to it. Main thing I do, I whip it really, really good. No strings. If there's any strings, any type of strings on it, it'll get out on the on the beater. Brush this down. A little bit there. I have to make sure it's really smooth before I add anything else to it. Okay, now I'm going to add my sugar to this, it's brown sugar and white sugar, my aromatic, which is my nutmeg and uh, the 
cinnamon. I'm gonna push this down here. Scrape that off. Add my butter. Vanilla. My eggs here. And I add a little milk here. Crust, part crust. I part cook my pie crust for like five minutes. That way I don't have a soggy pie crust. When I eat, you ever eat a pie when the, and the crust is soggy? I hate that. I really hate that. That's one of my pet peeves. So I, I figured out if you par bake your crust, that's what a crust it takes 45 minutes to cook. Just five minutes, that creates a layer between your filling and your pie crust. And, and you and avoid it from being soggy, the pie crust at the bottom. A bit more milk to this. And the recipe is in the description of the video, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I may as well taste this. Taste this feeling. I know it's raw eggs in it, but the raw eggs are cooked. Sugar to this. Sometimes the sweet potatoes have a different sweetness to it. That's why it's always good to taste it, uh, even though the recipe calls for a certain amount of sugar, it's always uh, good to check the sweetness. Because all sweet potatoes don't have the same sweetness to it. Common fact there. That's it, y'all. That's all she wrote. Simple is, simple go. Okay, take this out, pour it in my pie shell here. Definitely gonna be a big sweet potato pie right there, buddy. And we got a little left over to make some small ones. A little bit more here. Smooth it around. And that's it. We're gonna put this in the oven, 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes. This one will definitely take 45 minutes. And we'll be back to start on the uh, sweet potato casserole. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back again here. Uh, okay, now, I got sweet potato pie in the oven. Now we're gonna make the candy sweet potato. Very simple recipe. Butter, brown sugar, cinnamon and nutmeg, a little vanilla, this is my secret ingredient right here, y'all. Butterscotch topping. I put a little that in there, not much. It makes the sweet potato, it gives you a flavor like people gonna be asking, what is that secret? That's all it is, butterscotch ice cream topping. So what we gonna do, we are gonna get this all melted together. Together here. I was gonna say I use light brown sugar. If you want dark brown sugar, you can. Like I say, it just just the thing is just melting the butter and dissolving the sugar in here. That's all you're doing. You're not cooking it. You're melting everything together. Very simple and easy. We 
a little bit more. Like I say this takes two, three minutes, y'all. And this will be ready. So definitely be ready. Nothing like the smell of brown sugar and cinnamon and nutmeg, y'all. And butter just puts it over the top, I think. And that's it. I'm going to cut this off. Now, we're going to work on our... Let me move the camera over just a little. And show you what's next here. Okay. Now, I'm going to work on these sweet potatoes. All I'm going to do... I'm going to put them on this cutting board here and I'm going to slice them put them in the pan. Very simple, easy. If you like this, I cut the ends off. I don't use the ends. I use the ends for just snacking on. Cut the ends off like that. And what I do, just go get a nice little slice. And make sure your potatoes are cool. When you do this, if not, they won't, they won't present like you want them. And I just shingle them in here in the pan. Just like this. I think eating, half of eating is presentation. And y'all can see with my food, I'm very particular how my food is pre presented and shown. And another thing, what I'm doing, I'm cutting across the grain of the grainings of the potato. That way you don't get that stringiness when you bite into the potato. It's just like cutting a brisket. When you cut a brisket, you cut against the grain of the brisket. That way the brisket is not tough and stringy. You do the sweet potato the same way. All right, get another one here. Cut the ends off. And go with it. Very simple, y'all. Now I'm cutting these relatively thick. That's a nice end. I need to cut the ends off. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep these red, relatively, is that, a, is that an old school word, relatively, relatively thick. I'm going to put one more layer on top. Cut the ends off. Very simple, y'all. So much easier than boiling these potatoes and Losing the texture of your potatoes. I mean, I like to keep the texture and the presentation. Like I say, look at the presentation of this. Casserole dish, people see this, it's like, wow, look at those sweet potatoes. People eat with their eyes, y'all. People definitely eat with their eyes, you know. Okay, now let me get this up out the way. Move this cutting board up out the way. And then we're going to put the glaze on here. Make sure everything's presented good in there. And that nice glaze that we just made. Stir it up again. And just pour the glaze right on top of it. Just like that. And all that glaze just going to soak right into the potato. See that? And this here, you can do the day before, y'all. Just let it set in the refrigerator. Now, I'm not a marshmallow fan. I'm going to put this in the oven then, actually, for about 15 minutes. I'm not a marshmallow fan. If you are, you can put your marshmallows on there right now. I'm not. So, I serve it like this. I grew up like this. I ain't grew up with no marshmallows on no sweet potato. Some people like them like that. That's not me. So, anyway, we're going to put them in the oven about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to come back and show you the sweet potato pie and the uh, glazed sweet potatoes all at one time. So when I be back, the sweet potato pie be ready and the glazed sweet potatoes. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Sweet potato pie just took out of the oven. In fact, it is still hot. I'm going to take it off my pan so it can definitely cool off. There we go. The cool off something there. Of course, y'all know I can't taste the sweet potato pie right now, but I am going to taste a little of these yams. And you know the yams, I, I could have ate it a while ago when I put the glaze on there. But I like to put it in the oven at least 15, 20 minutes. Mm. I'm telling y'all, that's good stuff. I don't care who you are, that's good stuff. 
So I took, what I, how many potatoes I took? Six? Big potato. Two recipes. Took me about maybe an hour. Not counting the cook time on the potatoes. So the potatoes took, a, the big potatoes, usually small ones take about an hour. These are big Texas size I got on purpose because I knew I was making two items. So it took about, with the cook time, three hours. But with actually, it takes about 45 minutes to make both of these things after you get the potatoes done. So it's very simple. Like I said, you can do this ahead of time. Of course, you can do your pie the day before. I don't say, I don't recommend doing sweet potato pie no more than a day before. And I really don't recommend freezing them because they tend to, when they throw out, be a little moisture and the crust begin to be a little moist. I don't really recommend freezing sweet potato pie. You can if you have to, but I don't, I don't strongly recommend it. Of course, this you can do a couple of days before. Uh, the sweet potato. You can bake the sweet potatoes off, put them in the refrigerator, and then put it together on Thanksgiving Day. Just have your sweet potato already baked off. Take them out of the skin. Don't slice them. Just take them out of the skin, put them in a pan or a, a container when it's Thanksgiving Day. Take them out, slice them up in the pan, in your casserole dish, whatever you put in. Make your glaze, pour it on there. Bake it covered in oven. I didn't bake these covered because I only did 15 minutes. But if you're going to get them out of the refrigerator and they're going to be cold, bake them covered for like 30 minutes. So you can naturally do this ahead. And of course, sweet potato pie, I don't recommend doing no more than a, the night before. So anyway, just trying to help y'all out. I'm definitely going to be back on this video when this sweet potato pie gets cool. I'm definitely going to taste this. I love sweet potato pie. I'm a southern boy from Texas who doesn't like sweet potato pie. So we'll be right back. Maybe about a couple of hours. I'm going to taste the sweet potato pie, and then we'll close the video out. So we'll be right back to taste the pie. All right, y'all, we are back here. Okay, it's time to cut this sweet potato pie, y'all. Y'all know I made this so many times. But I got to show y'all how good this pie is. Who doesn't love sweet potato pie? doesn't love sweet potato pie, y'all. Oh, I broke my crust. Too bad. Guess I'll have to eat it. It's all good, baby. Mm, 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 mm. I already know it's gonna be good. That's it, y'all. Alright. Don't go wrong. That's southern. But, anyway, this is a Thanksgiving staple growing up. You got to have a sweet potato pie on the table. But, anyway, please give this video a thumbs up. Please comment. Please share. Please subscribe. Subscribe to my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Twitch TV, Twitter, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day, and Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.